Lesson 33 homework. Number one, Chase volunteers in an animal shelter after school, feeding and playing with the cats. If he can make five servings of cat food from a third of a kilogram of food, how much does one serving weigh? So he can make five servings from one third of a kilogram. So how much does one serving weigh? So if he has the one third, and that makes five, if we split that into five, one third divided by five is equal to one fifteenth of a kilogram. So each serving weighs one fifteenth of a kilogram. B, if Chase wants to give the same serving size to each of 20 cats, how many kilograms of food will he need? So one fifteenth of a kilogram for 20 cats, so times 20. That'd be equal to one times 20 over 15, or 20 fifteenths. If we make that a mixed number, we have one and five fifteenths, or one and one third kilograms to feed all those cats. Number two, a new cat has four and 75 hundredths pounds of meat. She uses a quarter pound of meat to make one hamburger. How many hamburgers can Anouk make with the meat she has? So this is how much she has, four and 75 hundredths. She uses a quarter or one fourth pound of meat to make one hamburger. One fourth is also equal to 25 hundredths. So what we need to do is four and 75 hundredths and split that between each hamburger, 25 hundredths. If we write it as a fraction, we would have four and 75 hundredths over 25 hundredths. Now I'm gonna multiply these by 100 to make them into whole numbers. So we have 475 over 25, and now we can just divide. So if 25 can't go into four, it can go into 47 one time. One times 25 is 25. We subtract and get 22 bring down the five. 25 can go into 225 nine times. Nine times 25 is 225. So she can make 19 hamburgers. B, a nuke sometimes makes sliders. Each slider is half as much meat as is used for regular hamburgers. How many sliders could a nuke make with four and 75 hundredths pounds? There's multiple ways to do this. We could either find out what half of 25 hundredths is. You could do that and find that that's 125 thousandths and then do the four and 75 hundredths divided by 125 thousandths and do the same strategy that we had right there. Or I noticed that if it's half as much, then that means it's going to make twice as much. So I'm just going to do 19 times 2 is equal to 38. So it could make 28 or 38 sliders. And if you do solve this problem right here, you'll get 38. Number three, Miss Geronimo has a $10 gift card to her local bakery. If she buys a slice of pie for $2.20 and uses the rest of the gift certificate to buy chocolate macaroons that cost $0.60 cents each, how many macaroons can Miss Geronimo buy? So we have, she has a $10 gift certificate. She buys a slice of pie for $2.20 and uses the rest. So first let's figure out what the rest would be. So we have $10 minus $2.20. Ten minus two is eight. I'll bring my decimal point down. Nine minus two is seven. So she has seven dollars and eighty cents left to buy chocolate macaroons, and they each cost sixty cents. So she's going to take that seven dollars and eighty cents and see how many sixty cent macaroons she can buy. So that would be equal to, and I'm going to multiply by ten to make them whole numbers. So we have seventy-eight over six, if we do 78 divided by six, six goes into seven one time, one times six is six, subtract, bring down, six goes into 18 three times, so she can buy 
13 macaroons. B. If she changes her mind and instead, bu instead buys a loaf of bread for $4.60 and uses the rest to buy cookies that cost one and a half times as much as the macaroons, how many cookies can she buy? So she changes her mind. She still has that $10 gift card. So let's do $10. But this time she buys $4.60 loaf, loaf of bread. So 10 minus 6 is 4, 9 minus 4 is 5, so now she has $5.40 to work with. And the cookies cost one and a half times as much as the macaroons. So we can do one and a half, I'm going to do one and five tenths. Here, instead of multiplying, I'm going to reason through it. So if I have one and a half times 60 hundredths. I know that I have 60 hundredths plus half of that. So there's the whole one times plus five tenths of that would be 30 hundredths. So I know that this is equal to 90 hundredths. So that's how much a cookie but cookie costs, 90 cents. So if I do five and 40 hundredths over 90 hundredths, or five and four tenths. I'm gonna get rid of the zero just because it'll be easier to, I can cancel those out, it'll be easier to divide at the end. So I'm gonna multiply them both by 10. Now I'll get 54 divided by nine, and 54 divided by nine is equal to six. So there'll be six cookies. Number four, create a story context for the following expressions. We have five and one fourth minus two and one eighth divided by four. So we need to think of a story problem that we could fit these numbers into. So um, I'm going to think of this as pints of milk because I'm looking at the cookies and it makes me think of milk. So let's say Liam had we need to do something to find the difference between those two. So let's say Liam had five and one fourth pints of milk. Let's say he saved two and one eighth of it for his cat. and then split the rest equally. Now we're dividing by four, so I need to use the number four. So he's splitting it equally between himself and three friends. So that would be four people, him and his three friends. Um, how much milk did each person get? B. We have four times four and eight tenths divided by eight tenths. Now notice the four and eight tenths divided by eight tenths, that's in parentheses, so you're going to want to start with that. Um, Try and think of something similar. I want you to try this one on your own. If you have an awesome story problem, write it down below and let's see what we can come up with together. I will help you out on number five. So it says create a story context for the following tape diagram. So it has the whole as six and then it's split into four equal parts. So that looks like six divided by four and then we found of that six divided by four, it looks like they took two thirds of that. So it kind of looks like six divided by four and then they found two thirds of that. So let's say Sharon had six muffins. She split them evenly in 
four pieces. And let's say that each person ate two thirds of their muffin. How much did each person eat? <laughs> 